This talent really is just such a sleeper talent, because if you have an actual coordinated squad together, or like you were in a scrim setting, the extra intel you get from the reveal would be incredibly useful. I mean, it's literally wall hacks, right? So like, yeah. I believe I still have a Max Ult Talus build. Uh, yes, I do. Dark Vision, Evanescent, uh, Max Health. That's basically all it is. And yeah, the we basically we get Ultimate Charge for punching Talus. people. And then we're also pairing it with Nothing Personal, which increases our Ultimate Charge rate by 15%. And then we're going to buy Morale Boost to increase it even further. And we're basically going to spam. Uh, and that's also why having Rune of Travel is so important. Because you need Rune of Travel every time you ult. Otherwise, you're going to get trapped in a terrible position usually. And yeah, it also provides a 65%, or it provides a reveal on people below 65% health, which is actually pretty powerful. I feel like if Paladins were a more competitive game that had a proper competitive scene, I feel like nothing personal would be a use a lot more because of the intel it provides, you know? If you actually were able to communicate with your team and reveal low HP enemies like that, I feel like that is really powerful. But you just can't use it in your average casual match because you're not communicating with anybody. And even in ranked, it's hard to use that. It's one of those talents that would be really, really good if, in, like, scrims. <laughs> uh, with good team play and coordination. It's a relic of that era, and by golly, I do miss parts of that era. I think there's a new Paladins competitive tourney launching, Paladins Prestige series. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad people are still hosting tournaments for those who you know, want it. I feel like they should get more attention, though. Like, there should be more advertisement for them. I'm welcome to advertise tournaments as long as they're run by people who aren't toxic and people who actually have an idea of what they're doing, right? Like, this game really does have the potential to have some really competitive stuff going on. Yeah, it's mostly a casual game in 2024, but, I mean, yeah, it's a team-based game with a lot of customization, a lot of builds, a lot of interactions, and a lot of room for team play. Some of the PNCL players aren't that good don't because they only got the title from playing worry. it. The yeah. <laughs> I, I I have run into a few PNCL players, and I play against them, and I'm like, oh, yeah, they definitely weren't the winners of the PNCL tournament, were they? <laughs> Ooh. Not going to name names because I can't name names because I don't even remember because I don't know who played in the PNCL. I just know the title. I see the title. I beat them. And then it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> cool. I feel like there's not as much prestige in that title as there is in the PPC or PPL titles. But it's still cool that they got titles, you know? Like, I like the idea of Evil Mojo getting involved with these community tournaments in some way, shape, or form. Again, as long as they're well moderated, right? Because sometimes the competitive scene can get Five, toxic. Four, you want to make sure to try and avoid three. that. Ult spam talus. Heck yeah. Nothing personal. Reveal the enemies when they're low. Have maximum ult charge. Let's just go in. We got to remember to punch people in the face to get the ultimate charge. Uh, she jumped over it. Okay. Let me just teleport away. Um, man, look at that reveal. That's so disgusting. I know exactly where Sarah's is. I can blast her. Oh my gosh. That's beautiful. I'll just try and overcharge you a little bit. Alright, this is going to be risky, but I'm going to put the portal here. I see that Leon. That reveal is just disgusting. I know exactly how much health she has, too. I don't even think Lex gets that on his reveal. He just knows where they are. Ooh, you got healed. No! Okay. Is she Street Justice? Oh, no, she's not. Okay, chat. Maybe host a tournament for the quote-unquote bad players within your streams and Discord and watch Madness unfold? I did host a few tournaments back in the day. I hosted two, and both of them were terrible. <laughs> I I am just I maybe could learn from the mistakes I made back then to manage a better tournament today, but I'm just not interested in doing that. It was a nightmare to actually host it, especially trying to do it with just like you know community volunteers. Effectively, it was just not a good plan. Okay, well let's get more morale boost. It's pretty shameful. I'm the only one on the team who doesn't have an ultimate yet. Besides Barrack, who's Barrack, the slowest charging ultimate in the game. Or one of them, anyways. And, uh, yeah, Grover's beat me to it, Kazumi's beat me to it, Seven's beat me to it, even though I've gotten four eliminations. How do I not have an ultimate yet? With morale boost and this talent. I don't understand. Kind of crazy. Julian's low. If only I could ping her, man. That'd be... That'd be crazy. 
Ooh. We're kind of just pushing it through. I feel like my team is just carrying. Bam! Punched! Yes, I have my ultimate. Run away. Get away with the deed. Stay near Grover. Do damage. Whoop! We're back over here now. <laughs> the reverse portal. Teleport into their backline when they least expect it. Yes! There goes Maeve, and we push it through. Beautiful. Nice. I feel like a content creator tournament would be really fun to watch. I agree, it would be pretty cool. Get, like, a bunch of content creators to host their own teams and battle it out. Could also be very dramatic, too. <laughs> Build tension. Ooh. But yeah, like, I don't know, me hosting a team, Z1, Kami... Uh, I don't know if Frostfangs would participate in that, honestly, because he's an enigma. He's a ghost. <laughs> I don't even know if you would be able to reach out to him for it. But that's at least three. You could probably get former pros to do it. You could probably get Mewtwo on B to do it. That's five. You would need eight to get a proper turn together, I think. So who else could he do? Infernal Drogos, I guess. Um, Raven Trick. We really don't have a lot of content creators, do we? <laughs> um, oh yeah, you can maybe do something with that. Punch! Gotcha! Yay. And we're back up to 32% already. Nice. Wow, great ult, Saris. Uh, Alright, punch. More ult charge. Woo! Okay, well, we're back up to 81%. I really do get a lot from punching, don't I? Creepers? Oh, yeah, creepers. How did I forget creepers? <laughs> ah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> that that whole thing alone just causes drama, doesn't it? Oh. Which content creators does, uh, does Andrew actually remember versus who does he forget? Oh. Who does Andrew Chicken think is irrelevant? <laughs> nah. I'm just bad at remembering things on the fly like that. A lot of people I've that have come and gone over the years. Oh, I could actually do that, even though I couldn't see her because of the blind. Interesting. So I'm teleporting back over here. I'm running away. Ow! Sniped in the face. Alright, let's do morale boost. Let's try some life rip out. Considering Talos has really high DPS, it might be worth investing into. 60%. Half the team's fighting for Kona, probably. Oh gosh, yeah. <laughs> That'd be the first person I'd go to. Hey, Kana, do you want to join my team for this tournament? Winky face, join my team, don't join the other teams. Give me the carry, please. <laughs> Can you imagine if, like, Unbi or Mewtwo got Kana? That, they would win the tournament. <laughs> pro players stacked on pro players. What the heck? Why can you see the enemy? It's because of the talent. Nothing personal. It reveals enemies who are below 65% health to me. So that's Saris, below 65% health. I see her, I blast her. Reveal out through the wall. Nobody ever uses it, because apart from 15% ultimate charge, that's the only benefit it provides. And generally, in your average casual ranked match, it's more effective to run inner strength for the extra cooldown reduction on your abilities for more damage. This talent really is just such a sleeper talent, because if you have an actual coordinated squad together, or like you were in a scrim setting. The extra intel you get from the reveal would be incredibly useful. I mean, it's literally wall hacks, right? So like, yeah, he busted. Like, it's one of those talents that like, yeah, nobody uses. Most people would consider it not to be a good talent for Talos, but it's like, <laughs> it's really so underrated. All the pro players just don't join the same team. All oh, right, yeah. Mewtwo is just like, nah, I'm not gonna host my own team. And then he's like, oh, hey, do you want to join my team, Winky Face? Sure, I'll join your team. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> Let's just get all the former pro players on. Ah. <laughs> Legit. Andrew and his random viewer, five stack versus an old pro team like Envy or Renegade. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Andrew Chicken, Wero and Stealthy versus Navi. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> yeah. That's going to work. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Well, 10 kills there, not bad. 13 assists, and, uh, yeah, gaming. <laughs>